How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Oracle Rising. My name is Robin. <laughs> so I had a little bit of a cheerleader move going on at the beginning, but that's okay. So guys, I'm going to talk about spiritual downloads today. So I find this is a really interesting subject. Um, and I've had a couple uh, personal friends as well as people from the community reach out to me asking like, what is going on with my body right now? Like, why did this happen? So I thought this would be really important to share this information with you guys. So um, you don't freak out when this happens, okay? So spiritual downloads, in case that's like not like self-explanatory for you guys, um, it's when you receive messages from your spirit guides, okay? So whoever your guides are, they could be members of your starseed community, your guides, uh, your team in spirit, angels, archangels, um, your ancestors, okay? So these are coming from the spirit realm and they can be a little bit intense, uh, the symptoms vary in their intensity as well. So uh, the timing can happen uh, while you're sleeping, like pre-sleep or just when you're waking up, when you're meditating or walking or just kind of hanging out, minding your own business. And, and you could start to get these really bizarre symptoms um, and you're like, what is even happening to me right now? So I wanted to let you guys know that these things are okay. It's just, um, you know, you've opened up portals and you're able to receive messages. And of course, the density is different, you know, coming from higher astral planes and dimensions. So it's going to feel a little bit strange in your 3D body. Okay. So anyway, I hope that is enough of an explanation. You guys know you can comment and I'll respond to you or you can email me. My email address is oraclerising2 uh, at gmail.com and it is in the description box for you guys and I will respond to you sometimes. It just takes me a little bit longer than others. So, um, so this one happens to me. I've got seven things. I want you guys to really let me know if this is happening to you or if this helps you in any way. I get this constantly. It is a ringing in the ears, okay? So this happens predominantly to me in my left ear only. And it's really super annoying, okay? There's also a medical condition called tinnitus. Um, so it can be kind of difficult to discern the difference between the two, but if you checked out medically okay, um, this could just be something that is happening. You're getting a constant stream of consciousness and it, it just ends up manifesting in a, a really powerful ringing in the ears. Okay. So, um, that's something that I've learned to live with because, if you guys have ever watched me do a tarot card reading, my guides just take over. Like one of my friends said to me, you know, you're so different when you do tarot card readings. And I said to her, that's not me. That's my guides. So they're always present for me. So I get this ringing in my left ear almost constantly. So, and when it's gone, I think, wow, <laughs> That's weird, but it doesn't usually last for very long. Okay, so another sign that you have received a spiritual download, and this one's not so much physical, but it is like having a sharpened intuition. It's like your BS detector is now off the charts, you know. Um, you have a precognition of situations before you go into them. Uh, you can feel people's intentions. This could really escalate the way that you um, come out into the world as an empath, okay, which is not always a fun thing. So uh, you might want to look up my videos that I had on how to shield yourself as an empath, okay. So you could get sudden bursts of creativity or maybe a really strong desire to declutter your space and organize and clean and tidy um, and maybe just, you know, rearrange your knickknacks and your photos and pictures in a different way or start painting um, or just really attack a project in a creative way, okay? So this is going to be the result of a spiritual download because you've been given all this inspiration from your guides, okay? And I love moments like that. Um, easier access to spirit guides, you guys, that's going to be another side effect, okay? So 
some people ask, like, how do I talk to my spirit guides? Like, you're talking to them all the time. You are. So you can ask them direct questions. Um, listening can be a little bit more challenging for people. I just sit in silence and I wait for an answer, okay? Or I wait for an angel number. You know, they will get back to you. Um, your higher self is always an immediate response. They do kind of appreciate uh, a yes or no question because those are easier to understand. I know a lot of people use divination tools to be able to interpret messages from your guides if they're speaking to you, which is why I use tarot cards because as soon as I start shuffling that deck, the messages just come in and I can literally feel my spirit guides coming in in almost a gallery around me. It's a really bizarre feeling. If anybody has that happen to them, I'd really like to hear from you guys in the comments because uh, so far I haven't heard that happening to anybody. Okay, so another symptom, you guys, is really vivid dreams. Like you're waking up in the morning and you're thinking, oh, what was that? <laughs> you know, um, and dreams like that are always messages, okay? But this is also the result of being expanded by a spiritual download, okay? So your dreams, they could be vivid for a day or two after a spiritual download, or they could just be increasingly uh, vivid for you. Of course, this is going to vary on a like a case by case basis. Okay, so but very intense dreams. Okay, so um, <clears throat> feelings of unity and oneness. This is like oh, I am supported. I'm not just out on this journey by myself. This is when you have the sense of being surrounded by your angels, your ancestors, whoever your team and spirit is. And this varies for person to person. And also know, you guys, that not all guides are with you for every part of your journey. Some of them are only there to sort of ferry you through a certain portion of your life and then they leave or they'll come back a little bit later. I had one particular angel stay with me. Um, you know, it was very strange timing. It was just, uh, he left just shortly after I started studying tarot. So I'm sure that he was there to help collaborate with my deceased grandmother to show me the path of reading tarot. So it's all very complex, but always know that um, you do have static guides. You know, they're always there, uh, notably your higher self who is attached to you, right? And your guardian angel. And then other angels, um, they'll step forward on your path as well as your ancestors, okay? So um, that was a really long tangent when I was saying feelings of unity and oneness. And then this also obviously corresponds to humans <laughs> that you feel a little bit more united with them okay even so this is important to know too, you guys you can feel really at one and have lots of love for humans but if you're a very sensitive person like most light workers and people in the divinity community are uh star seeds empaths you know everybody that is really highly in tune with spirit um, you could really want to help humanity, but also not talk to them too much. So that's okay, too, if that's where you sit, okay? And then this is the biggest sign of an incoming spiritual download, okay? It's when the top of your head starts to tingle, okay? So you could be alerted to that. This is also something to watch for if you're in a meditative state, like if you're walking, you're doing yoga, you feel really comfortable, you are intentionally trying to channel your guides so that they can give you some sort of a spiritual download. It's a very very bizarre feeling. Um, you know, it can feel like there could be some sort of a medical crisis. There probably isn't. But after your first big one, you should really get to be a little bit more comfortable with dealing with sort of the physical um, side effects and the sort of, you know, extrasensory side effects of receiving a spiritual download. And they're just so beautiful. So, 
If you haven't experienced one yet, you know, just really get yourself where you're comfortable and open and ready to receive and ask, okay? Particularly angels. Um, I always say they're kind of like vampires in the sense that they can't come in without your permission. <laughs> so if you are waiting for a response from an angel, remember that you have to go and ask them first, okay? Um, and the rest of your guides, they should be available to respond to you. If you're not getting any sort of a response, you might want to maybe burn some candles or get some crystals. Like, do whatever it takes for you to really be in a comfortable, relaxed state of mind and state of body so that you can receive these spiritual downloads. And they're absolutely beautiful. And you can expect your spiritual experience to expand after that and continue to expand as your guides are aware that you are open to receiving messages from them so anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this one up really looking for forward to your comments and stories i'm gonna tune out for now you guys namaste bye